All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back to Modern Warfare Season 5 Petrov Oil Rig, man. And let me tell you guys something right now about this new map here. If you guys thought you knew what confusion was, if you guys thought you knew what loud footsteps was, wait until you play on Petrov Oil Rig, man, because the footsteps and confusion on this map are like normal Modern Warfare maps times a thousand. I'm telling you, bro, this map is like one gigantic maze. I mean, dude, multiplayer has been one giant kick in the balls for me this year, fellas. I'll tell you that right now. Listen, Modern Warfare did a lot of things right. You know, great campaign. You know, war zones popping. But for me, multiplayer has just been one giant kick in the balls. Man, listen, fellas, my balls deserve better than this. Your balls deserve better than this. As a matter of fact, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is a company which is the best in below the belt men's grooming. Look, we've all heard horror stories of dudes who tried to shave their junk and then something awful happened. This bad boy right here is the solution to all your problems. So Manscaped sent me the perfect package 3.0. It has ball toner and ball deodorant. Damn, that sounds fantastic. And the most important piece of this package, their most advanced trimmer yet, this is the Lawn Mower 3.0. This bad boy is a game changer. It has a cutting edge ceramic blade that's going to save you from nicking your balls. It even has an LED flashlight so you can see what the heck you're doing when you're trimming the hedges down there. When you trim the hedges, the trees stand taller, boys. Get the Manscaped Lawn Mower 3.0. Trust me, this is something you want to do right the first time. Of course, I have a code for you guys that's going to give you a nice little discount. Get 20% off and free shipping when you use my code THUNDER at manscaped.com. Again, that's THUNDER at manscaped.com. It's free shipping and 20% off. That's really all it takes, fellas. Also, if you get the Perfect Package 3.0, the same package that I got, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Every three months, you'll get a replacement trimmer for your lawnmower, which is a really clutch to keep things clean. You also get this awesome shed travel bag and a pair of very comfortable boxer briefs. I'm wearing them right now. They feel fantastic. Manscaped, thanks for sponsoring this video. Guys, make the investment in the lawnmower 3.0. Do it right. Stay fresh and clean for the rest of your life. Link will be in the top of the description. Be sure you click on it. And thank you so much to Manscaped once again for the sponsor. Now, I know what a few of you guys in the comment section are going to be saying after that one. And no, I am not going to be answering any ball shaving questions, man. Figure it out your damn self. And listen, with that ceramic blade, dude, you can't possibly mess it up. Trust me. It's skin safe technology, man. No tips and tricks on how to shave your balls on this channel, man. That's a great product. If you want it, go ahead and use my code link down in the description. Uh, anyway, uh, getting back to this. Uh, <laughs> now, I know a, a few people in the comment section might be saying, they'll be like, oh, Thunder, you just need to get good and adapt, yada, yada, yada. You just need to learn the maps. I can't. I'm telling you guys right now, I can't learn these maps. I mean, I think I, maybe I'm stupid. I don't even know. I, I can't learn. Have, have you guys adapted? Have you guys learned these maps? How can anyone learn this map? It's an absolute maze, bro. This map reminds me of the Space Maze map from Infinite Warfare. Remember that map we played in the beta? What is this man doing? This man's sitting in the corner shaving his balls with the Lawnmower 3.0. What are you doing back there behind that ride shield, son? What? <laughs> man was sitting in the corner going to town with the lawnmower. Oh, my goodness. And you know what, fellas? Uh, you know, ball shaving lawnmowers ain't the only thing I'm pimping on this channel, fellas. Don't forget, my G Fuel code, fellas, still good for 30%. Do it! Now, see, that dude right there could have used some of my G Fuel, man. A lot of people ask me what flavor of G Fuel I like. To be honest, guys, I just got sponsored by G Fuel uh, in July. I haven't really tried every flavor. I've only tried Phase Berry and Grape. They're both really good. Uh, grape is super good. Grape is my favorite flavor so far. I haven't tried any of the other flavors yet, so don't all be asking in the comment section, you know, what's the best flavor? I've only tried two. The grape is slamming. Phase Berry's good. I don't know. When I try all of them, I'll let you know what my favorites are, but I've only tried two so far, full disclosure. Anyway, if you guys want to try some, code THUNDER, save yourself 30% off, link in the description. Anyway, getting back to this trash, man. Listen, fellas, <laughs> it's no secret. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the next step in the Easter egg, man. I don't know if we're actually going to get any gameplay. I'll take screenshots, dude. Screenshots! Yeah, I'll take screenshots, man. If anything comes out of the Easter egg tomorrow... Hopefully, it's at least a few screenshots. I'm not expecting to see any gameplay anytime soon, uh, which is mind-boggling to me, man, because this game, COD uh, Cold War, is supposed to come out 
in October, but here we are in mid-August, and we haven't even seen anything yet, man. All we've seen is some slideshows, some family photos, a 1940s projector, and some sweaty skill-based matchmaking lock. That's all we've seen. But listen, man, hopefully the maps in COD Cold War are way better than they were in this game, man. Like I said, even if they made Modern Warfare 2019 perfectly, flawlessly, great perks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the maps would have killed this game. The maps would have absolutely killed this game. All these maps look too good, and, and they're too realistic to be fun. I, I don't know. I don't know any other way to say it. I mean, they look like great campaign maps. These maps look like amazing campaign maps, but they do not flow well, and they don't play well in multiplayer, man. I mean, I come from a old era of Call of Duty, man. I remember playing COD World at War. COD World at War had the greatest maps I've ever seen in my life, man. Every single map that shipped with that game was an absolute banger. They had flow, they were fun, they were fast-paced. You didn't have to play on them for an entire year just to get used to them. I mean, let's be honest. Modern Warfare is a two-map game, okay? You got your shoot-the-ship playlist, which everyone's screaming for all the time. Every time Infinity War tweets something, anytime anything comes out on the game, what do you see in the comment section? People screaming, bring back shoot-the-ship! Bring back shoot-the-ship! That's why Infinity War keeps taking shoot-the-ship away, because no one's in any other playlist. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, this is a two-map game. Shoot house and shipment. And I mean, I think shoot house is good. Shipment to me is an absolute disaster, but I get why people like it. It's super easy to get kills. It's just mindless fun, and uh, you can rank up all your guns and stuff. And the Warzone players love Shipment because they just go in there and they just rank up all their weapons for Warzone. I mean, that's all multiplayer is, dude. Multiplayer is a conduit for Warzone, man, which is unfortunate because multiplayer to me will always be the core of Call of Duty, not Battle Royale. But this is a two-map game. You got Shipman and Shoot House, and every other map in this game is an absolute disaster, bro. I mean, I shouldn't have to play on maps for an entire year just to kind of get used to I'm still not used to them. I, I can play on these maps. I still get lost. I don't know where I am. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's so weird. Anyway, man, hopefully the maps in COD Cold War are absolutely nothing like they were in this game. And thank you guys all so much for watching.